to the evening star Mark Aiken side tonight returned the Queen of Heaven with young Endymion stays, and now to Hesper is it given a while to rule the vacant sky, till she shall to her lamp supply a stream of brighter rays. O Hesper, while the starry throng with all thy path surrounds, O listen to my suppliant song, if haply now the vocal sphere can suffer thy delighted ear to stoop to mortal sounds. So may the bridegroom's genial strain thee still invoke to shine, so may the bride's unmarried train to hymen chaunt their flattering vow, still that his lucky torch may glow with luster pure as thine. Far other vows must I prefer to thy indulgent power. Alas, but now I paid my tear on fair Olympia's virgin tomb, and lo, from thence, in quest I roam of Philomela's bower. Propitious send thy golden ray, thou purest light above, let no false flame stoose to stray where gulf or steep lighted for harm, but led where music's healing charm may soothe afflicted love. To them, by many a grateful song and happier seasons vowed, these lawns, Olympia's haunt, belong, oft by yon silver stream we walked, or fixed, while Philomela talked, beneath yon copses stood. Now seldom, where the beach in boughs that ruffless tower invade, we came while her enchanting muse the radiant moon above us held, till by a clamorous owl compelled she fled the solemn shade. But hark! I hear her liquid tone. Now, Hesper, guide my feet down the red marl with moss o'ergrown, through yon wild thicket next the plain, whose hawthorns choke the winding lane which leads to her retreat. See the green space, on either hand enlarged it spreads around, see, in the midst she takes her stand, where one old oak his awful shade extends o'er half the level mead enclosed in woods profound. Hark! How through many a melting note she now prolongs her lays, how sweetly down the void they float. The breeze their magic path attends, the stars shine out, the forest bends, the wakeful heifers gaze. Woe ere thou art whom chance may bring to this sequestered spot, if then the plaintiffs hearing sing, O oh softly tread beneath her bower, and think of heaven's disposing power, of man's uncertain lot. O oh think, o'er all this mortal stage, what mournful scenes arise, what ruin waits on kingly rage, how often virtue dwells with woe, how many griefs from knowledge flow, how swiftly pleasure flies. O oh sacred bird, let me at eve, thus wandering all alone, thy tender counsel oft receive, bear witness to thy pensive airs, and pity nature's common cares till I forget my own.